Less than two miles from Chesapeake Energy Arena. Dear Lord, they're in your hands. Lives the Carmelite Sisters of St. Therese. And we love you. Along with prayer. And we trust you. Service to others and reading scripture. And you know how much we want them to win. They're also Thunder fans. I was a forward. <laughs> I know about shots. <laughs> Sister Teresa Margaret. Uh, she played basketball in high school. Defense, defense. Now she coaches, watching highlights from my laptop, <laughs> where they usually watch games on the flat screen. He got it. And he got it again. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Last month, when the Thunder played the Lakers, Harden comes up with another assist. A fellow sister ran a trick play. Yeah, his sister Barbara Joseph was supposed to take me out to dinner. Instead, they went to the peak. It's enormous. I was just overwhelmed with it. And we got to watch them warm up. James Harden was there, the beard. Uh -huh. After a while, he kind of came over to our side, we were right in the front row, and he shook hands with us. Well, it was so sudden, I don't know if I even said hi. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then he went over and shook sister's hand. Didn't say a word, it just shook her hands and walked right back and shot some more. <laughs> but that was so nice of him. And they won that night, right? Right. Maybe you helped. We powered the power. <laughs> Both powers met. <laughs> and so now we have the 2012 Western Conference champions, Oklahoma City Thunder. The Thunder kept winning. We're in game five. Durant puts it in on a foul. To stay alive, they needed a win and a prayer. Please, if it is your will. Let them win tonight, even if it's two points. <laughs> the sisters' prayers helped the Thunder, but nothing could be done to stop LeBron James. So once again, NBA champions LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted. Sister and coach Teresa Margaret put some perspective on the season-ending loss. They did their very best, and they tried, and they did it. They played their hardest, so we just thank God that they're all up and going, and there's another, always another time. And before next season, the Carmelite sisters will be following the suggestion on the wall and preparing in their own way, because in just four months... So this one's certainly a high percentage shot. The thunder will rise again, with victory just one shot away. And he made a basket! <laughs> For Good Day Tulsa, Yay. I'm Kristen Dickerson.